Hello there, I am Giant Grotal with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on Elite Four Agatha, um, the third member of the Four Master by Poison type Pokemon. We beat her easily, I guess. And uh, now we can take on the fourth and final member of the Four Elite Four Lance, the user, and um, I guess master of uh, Dragon type Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. So I have a storm up front, so let's talk to him. Oh yeah, we c wait. If I was, if I stood, if I stepped right. Right in front of him, he, I would be able to make eye contact with him right now. Darn it! Cause like he he like senses you, you, he sees you basically. So he, it's like he's already gonna start talking to you. And I wanted to make eye contact with him, but that's okay. It's whatever. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, I heard about you, Stephen. I lead the lead for you. Can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. Uh, they're hard to to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Steven. No, I won't allow you to let me lose. Uh, I won't be the loser, I guess you could say. Okay, Lance wants to fight. Cool, okay. So yeah, he starts off with his Gyarados. It's level 58 and we're six levels higher than it. So he uses a watch type move on it because it's four times super effective and that's awesome to, you know, you know, to be in that situation where you have the Pokemon that has, that's four times super effective against the opponents. So yeah, let's go for a Thunderbolt, it takes our own hit, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Okay, Lance is about to use Dragonair. Okay, let's switch to Gamera, because Gamera has Ice Beam. And, uh, Dra Dragonair is only weak to Dragon-type moves and Ice-type moves. So, keep that in mind. I don't, I don't have any Dragon-type moves, so I'm gonna have to go with an Ice-type move. I think, I think in Gen 1, there wasn't really any Dragon-type moves at all, really. Like, there was Dragon Rage, but that was, I think, Normal-type instead of Dragon-type. So yeah, maybe there's another- I'm pretty sure there's probably not any dragon type moves in Gen 1. I, I could be wrong on that though. Let's go for the Ice Beam, it's level 56 so it's 8 levels higher than it, nice. The Ice Beam hits and it takes out one hit, awesome. Now he has two Dragonairs, he has two Dragonairs and a Dragon Knight. And then he also has a- I looked, he also has a um- He has one more Dragonair remaining, he has a Dragon Knight and then he has a oh, Aerodactyl, yeah. So he's about to send his second Dragonair and okay I'll stay in with Gamera. Keep Gamer in. Let's use another Ice Beam. This is also level 56, so wait, levels higher than it. Now, I think it's Dragonair. It's two Dragonairs might have different moves, so. Yeah, like one might have like a Flamethrower, one might have Thunder Wave, you know, I don't know. So, yeah. Lance is about to use Aerodactyl. We'll stay in with Gamera, because uh, Aerodactyl is rock and flying, so I think uh, Surf will be super effective, actually, so that's good to know. It's gonna use Fly, okay. Interesting. This guy's fly on Gamera, I guess. This Aerodactyl's level 60, so we're only four levels higher than it. That this time Surf hits, obviously, because this Aerodactyl's not in the air anymore. I guess it's still in, it's technically in there because it's flapping its wings. But it's, you know, it doesn't show it flapping its wings. But I'm pretty sure it's above the ground right now. It doesn't even show a little shadow, dang it. Yeah, gen Generation 1 with uh, the, g the Game Boy ga games and the Game Boy Color games weren't really... They didn't, they didn't have, like, all that, like, the whole, like, physical attributes with Pokemon I guess so that makes sense it wasn't it wasn't until later that they had like all the like you see in like X and Y how there's like a it's like Pokemon Stadium where you can see like the whole 3d model of it and then if it's a flying type Pokemon like Aerodactyl it'll be flying in the air and stuff just like in Pokemon Stadium so yeah okay yeah let's go to the next Pokemon I think it's Dragonite left yeah it's Dragonite it's the only one that's left okay let's go for, okay Dragonite okay Let's stay in. Now Dragonite is four times weak to Ice type Pokemon because it's Dragon and uh, Flying type. So we're going to definitely go for the Ice Beam. The Dragonite is level 62. So we're only two levels higher than it. So let's see if this Dragon, not Dragon, but uh, Ice Beam faints it. And it does. Awesome. So yeah, super effective. Awesome. We defeated Lance. That's it. I hate to admit it. But you're, you are a Pokemon master. Thanks, man. Thanks for 6,138 Pokedollars, too. Cool. I still I can't believe my my dragons lost you, Steven. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Yeah, I'm a Pokemon master. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left or ahead. Okay, uh, okay. Some of the dialogue switched from uh, Generation 1, Red, Blue, and Yellow to uh, Fire on the Screen Generation 3. So yeah, you have a Two-Face and another trainer. His name is Sean. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, so um... I think he starts off with a Sand Slash coming up first, so I want to use... I'll use Gamera, I guess. And Gamera got hurt in that battle, so like, we'll use... 
Um, we'll use a super potion on it, a super potion should restore, uh, game, game has HP and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it's sort of, you know, 41 out of the HP, 41 HP out of 50 that we just needed. So he had 9 HP left to spare, I guess you could say, because so the super potion restores 50 HP of one Pokemon. So yeah, so I have Gamma up front, that's awesome, because the Sandswatch is coming out first. Don't think her, his Spear, or his Fiero is going to come out first, or his Pidgeot, like in Fire and the Green, it's uh, his Sand Slash. So yeah, so this has been uh, my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part, next part will take on our champion, the champion of the Elite Four, I guess, which is our rival, Sean. So yeah, so this has been Shanko again, I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough Guide.